Hello everyone, welcome back to the dev blog and today I am going to be adding in my um, auto store mod into the spawn mod so it's pretty simple we're gonna do is create a new document and I'm just going to call it vending machine.lua and then in here I just need to add that to the main Lua file to read and launch that code. So then we have vending machine there. And then let's go ahead and open the vending machine and I'm just gonna copy and paste all the code from right here. And I'll just paste it all in. Now I'm gonna change several things around. First off, I do not need a privilege to be set up for this anymore. So I will go ahead and get rid of that. And then I will check everything here after place node. It's checking if we have a privilege. Well, I don't care about that anymore and I don't care about this. Um, we do need to keep the on construct on receive fields. Yes, we wanna keep those. Uh, then we have this one here. Again, we can get rid of the checks for the privilege because, uh, well, pretty much the only way anybody can get this is if they are an admin and use give because there will be no crafting for it. Uh, and then also, I want to take these and I'm actually going to add a new group spawn equals one and I probably should have been doing this from the get-go on all of these but I just didn't think of it at the time so this is gonna be a little little handy dandy trick here and then I will just go into the gamer and go to the hand here and I will add spawn equals times equals a number a time of number one equals point one and let's see comma and brace whoops and brace comma uses equals zero which is unlimited and I don't need a max level because it doesn't have a max level. All right, now let's go back to the vending machine here. A um, couple things we're gonna have to change. Uh, the name here, let's change that to spawn vending one. And we will change the description to be vending machine. Uh, tiles, I'll just leave as is for right now and I'll just copy them right over. Um, but they will be changed because I don't really, whoops, I don't really care for how these ones look for being inside of a spaceship. So I'll just copy and paste those over, but yes, they will be completely redone and the names will all be changed as well. Probably. Okay. Unconfigured store, um, unconfigured vending machine. Okay, blah, blah, blah. This is the default, so we'll change that to unconfigured vending machine. Okay, that should work. Change this to vending machine. It doesn't really even matter, but <clears throat> I'll just change that over. Okay, blah, 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 blah. That all looks good there, I think. And then we need to change this one to spawn vending. And we will call this one vending machine. Now this is a working and this is the unconfigured. So we'll actually change this to be vending machine. And we'll do unconfigured vending machine. Okay, so I think this is all set up. 
So let's go ahead and launch my test. I don't know why it's doing this. It keeps launching as a full screen. I don't know if I... There was recently a change for the screen size. And I'm wondering if that's what's doing this. Unfortunately, I don't know what that was under. There's some option someplace. I don't see anything that says anything about screen size. Maybe basic? Nope. Filtering? Would make sense to be there. Shaders? No. Advanced? Here we go. Okay. No. No. Let's not. Let's just by default do a 640 by 480 screen. That's probably pretty small, but you know what? That's fine. That's full screen. I just, I don't want it taking up everything. It's too big. I need to be able to see other stuff. All right. Well, yep. Let's go ahead with this and just do give me spawn vending one and we now have this little doodad unconfigured vending machine selling what for how much so let's sell a yellow rail angled for a stair and we'll sell 20 of those for one of these and we will just call the store angled rails and say vending machine. And now the little text there says angled rails. And we're selling for that. So I need to get some stairs. So let's go ahead and do give me spawn stairs 20. And I'll go ahead and put one in there and buy it. Okay, it's, uh, it's not working. That's weird. Let me see. This is spawn vending one. Oh, wait, it's still not configured. Ooh, okay. I know what I did wrong. <clears throat> when we configure this machine, it swapped the node to auto store store, which does not exist. So let's change that to spawn vending vending that's better all right now I'll have to place a new one or I could just dig this one I suppose there we go let's place it okay so we're going to sell cobblestone for stairs and we're gonna sell 20 cobblestone for one stair and then we'll call this Cobble, cobblestone, one word, two words. I don't know. We'll just do this one. Cobblestone. Okay, selling cobblestone for one stair. Let's put one stair in there. Buy now, and we get 20 cobblestone. Yes, so it's working. Um, But you know what? I think I want to change this up a little bit. So let me give me spawn vending one. Okay, so this, you know, the layout looks pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. This is, the button's not quite big enough, so I want to make that button a little bigger. Just so we can actually read all the text that's on that button. So that's going to be the unconfigured vending machine here. And someplace there should be a button text. 6x1, 2x1. These are always confusing to me. But let's see here. Button exit. Save. Save vending machine. Um, let's see here. What, what would these numbers mean? The button is two wide and one no tall. Yes. And its location is six spaces over and one space down. So one, two, th three, four, five, six. Yes. So let's change the button's location to be five spaces over. And let's make it three spaces wide. And we'll just save that. Exit. Load it back up. And it'll be the same. 
So we destroy it and place it in you. Save vending machine. Sweet. Now we can read it. Um, and yeah, that looks pretty good. This name is kind of too long, but that's fine. Uh, one other thing I think I want to do though is put some description text in. So for example, you just started the game. You're in the spaceship. There's all this weird stuff you can buy, you know, this space technology and whatever. And you might not know what some of this stuff is. And it'd be handy to know what exactly these items are you're buying before you go and buy them, right? So let's add another field with a description in it. So what we're going to have to do is add a few things. We're going to need a new field. I'm just going to copy and paste because I'm a cheetah like that. Okay, the field is described to the system by this name here. So the S name it stood for store name. It's not a vending machine, but whatever. I'm going to leave that the same. And so we're going to change this to be DSC for description. Uh, what does store name? I'm going to have to pull that back up because I'm not sure. Oh, that's the label for the field. Okay. So let's change this to be item description. And then the default fill out for that will be what this item is. That would seem simple enough. And because I'm really going to be the only person ever using this, uh, yeah, I don't really have to worry about not knowing what that means. Okay, so now the question is, where do we put this field? We have the store name field here. And I kind of like the layout here of these two where you put your items and then your two numerical inputs here. So we're going to put the description down here. I think I will. That was a good idea. So let's go ahead and put a description here and do, let's see, we're going to start this at number zero, <clears throat> zero point three. Okay, I guess zero point three. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Why would we have 0 0.3 as our width? Well, I'm going to change that, and I'm going to change it to 0. And the height is going to be it's going to be 3 nodes down, so or 3 spaces, which will put it on top of this row here. The width of it is going to be, well, how wide is this form spec? It's 8 spaces wide, so let's go ahead and put it 8 wide, and let's just leave it at 1. And let's save this just to see what this looks like. Form specs are confusing. You're not the only person that ever feels overwhelmed with them. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's a little lower than I had thought it would be. It definitely um, is kind of hard to see. It's buried behind, but I can still type in there. But that's got to change, and this needs to be scooted over. So let's change it to... Um, well, what should we change it to? Uh, you know, I don't really know for sure. See, what's weird is the current player's main inventory starts at zero. But if I start a field at zero, it's to the edge. That's odd to me. But no biggie. Nothing we can't change with a few lines of code. Yeah, let's see what it looks like now. Hey! I guess that's why it was 0.3, because that makes it line up. That's so weird. But whatever. It works now. So, um, what's our height on this? Our height is at 3, which I feel is a good height. You know, if this is 1, 2, 3, but that looks way lower than 3. So let's go ahead and change 3 to be 2.3. And there's a lot of playing around with this stuff. There actually are a few people who have made um, 
uh, interactive form spec editors that work in game. Those guys are geniuses. I should be using one, but I'm not. So we're just going to do it this way. Okay. So 2.3 was maybe a little too high. So let's change it to 2.4. That's good. And let's change our players to start at space three. And we are going to have to change the height. I'm going to change it to seven. So let's see what we get now. Oh, oh, that looks very nice. That looks very nice. So let's go ahead and sew one of these suckers up. We are going to eventually everything will be getting sold for money or tokens or tickets or whatever. But for right now, I'm just going to use what I have, which is cobblestone. So um, this is going to be a stair and we will just say useful for climbing things. Sure. Why not? Save ending machine. Boop. Oh, I didn't give it a new name, though. That was silly of me. Uh, alas. And it dropped something not existing. Auto store underscore one on divine. Let's change that because, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be dropping things that aren't defined. Spawn vending one. Now, when it drops, it has to drop the unconfigured version. Because if you try to place the configured, you will get an error because none of this meta, meta has been written. Meta? Meta? Potato, patata, tomato, tomato, you know, however you want to enunciate it, pronounce it, you know, same difference. The difference is the same. All right. So let me just get rid of this and do this. Give me spawn vending one. All right. So great by limited supplies. And what is it? Uh, it's a pink walkway piece. And I am selling 50 of them. Should not have used numpad. 50 of them for one piece of cobble. Because, you know, that's totally, totally a limited supply. <laughs> and we'll just do pink walkway. And we'll save our vending machine. Pink walkway. Selling 50 for one cobble. And there we go. We have 50 of them. All right. I actually wanted to change the time real quick. Not that it even matters, but... Okay, so now this theoretically has some meta existing. For a description. Let's make that description exist someplace. Well, here we have a form spec. And this is the final form spec. So let's go ahead and launch my test back up. So what code we see here defines this right here. So you see there's the label selling and they're selling thing for selling amount. And there's the label for with this little, you know, item. That is what we're wanting in receive me. You see, whatever, this is what we want to get for you to buy this. Uh, you see, we have pay and take, pay and take. We have the two inputs. For the, well, it's an input and an output. And then we have a button, which is buy now. And then we have the list of the current player's inventory. So, eh, 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 how do we want to do this? Well, we could scoot these things over. Let me just see. The space grows. The space shrinks. Um, Yeah, it kind of... Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so we will change the location of this from 1.5 to 1, and we will change that one to 1. So those buttons will be right there. Then we will skew to pay and take over to 2. And then we'll have to change these buttons to be scooted over as well. Which, let's try 3. That may be too close. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, and then let's go ahead and exit to the menu. And we're going to have to uh, break these guys and configure one. Um, yeah, we're selling 
Ooh, stairs for Cabo. 20 stairs for one Cabo. Alright, so I think that all fits. Let me put my piece of cobble in here. Yeah, that layout works. Okay, so now we can put the item description in. I don't know if I can multi-line this without a lot of extra code. So, let's change the location on the buy now button. So now this will be right here instead. And we'll put the description here. So, how do we put a description in? Hmm. Hmm. It's a, it's a good question. How do I do that? No, actually, it's not. I know how to do it. We will go ahead and do a label. Label. I wanted square braces. Square brackets. I don't know. Whichever you want to consider them. Uh, where's this label need to be located? This should be at one, two, three, four, five. Five zero is its location, um, and its its size should be four one. And what is going in here? Well, that my friends is going to be. Um, the description right there. So what we need to do is this meta set string desk equals desk. I think that's what we do, right? Because we're using s name here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Selling amount, cost amount, because we change those to numbers. Mm -hmm. We're getting names, we're doing this. I think that's right. So then when we set this form spec, um, we just need to put in... Oh, 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 oh. Let's put the uh, the periods in there so it connotates, I con concatates or something. Okay, we have a crash. And what did we do wrong? We are expecting a parenthesis to close a line. Wait, what? Huh? Which line? Oh, duh. That helps if I put the dots at the end here. Um, we when we type this out. This is much easier to read, but when the computer is interpreting it, it actually interprets it as a long string. But because that'd be really confusing, we do multiple lines, and then we just put the two periods at the end, which pretty much lets the code know that this is all one string. All right, so we're selling stairs for cobblestone again. And we'll save the vending machine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Set sting. Hmm. Yes, let us fix that. Set string. Tis better. Unconfigured vending machine. Why can't I save it? Wait a minute. I bet this is... Printing at spawn vending, yeah. Okay. For one stair, you can get 20 unconfigured vending machines. Come on, what did I do wrong now? On receive fields, trying to con concatate global description, a nil value. Okay, so we forgot to do something here for the description. But what? The easiest way to find out is to look at the field for the store name, unconfigured vending machine, is fields s name. Do we ever get anything with fields s name? We do. Meta fields s name. Aha! Uh -huh. So let's try this. Fields.description. 
That might be what we need. And then... I may have to do something down here as well. I don't know. We're going to run out, though. Let's go ahead and destroy that global description and no value. But, 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 I wasn't trying to, hmm, meta set string description. What am I doing wrong here? And what's with this blah, image button, blah, blah. Because it's, uh, they're actually not buttons that you can click on, so they don't return anything when you click those buttons. All right, what did I do wrong? On receive fields, we're just checking what this is, making sure the player has it. I just want to put the word description in here. We have a label. Oh, we forgot a semicolon. So we have the size. Okay. I may be putting in extra values that I don't need. That could be why. Let's try it now. Okay, unfortunately I can't sell a vending machine anymore because I don't have any vending machines. Buy this. Great deal. Crash, of course. Line 63 still. Wait a minute, what? On line 63, there is no such. Huh? Nah. -uh. Times content, global description, no value. Why would it be doing that on line 63 or 32? 32 is the beginning of the function, yes. 63 is the end of the function. Label is the right size, yes. We want to put the description in there. Oh, because we never... I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. We never created a local for the description. I set a string to the meta, which didn't need a string set. Because I never read that. Okay, so we did wrong. Local description equals. Um. Wow, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! I need learn to type. Fields description. And this meta can actually be removed because that just gets put into this form spec here. Never gets read because it doesn't affect anything. And let's see if that works. It may, it may not. By me. I am running out of ideas here, people. Hey. Hey, 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 it worked! But why is that there? It should be here. Okay, well, no biggie. We will just change the 5 to a 4 and save it. And I'm going to sneeze. Wait, wait for it. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe I'm not going to. This is a really handy thing to have when you are in the wild and on X. Lord Wasteland. Wastelands. And we're going to call this Useful Tool. Alright. What? It didn't even scoot it over. Huh? That's confusing. It had been five, we put it to four. But it's it's still there. 
because this is, well, this is zero, one, two, three, four. Where did my other label take? Two and one. Zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three, four. Why is it starting with so much space? Let's change it to three. Yeah, and let's go ahead and full screen this. It didn't really make any difference there. All right, well, let's exit to the menu. Now, the thing that stinks about this is it doesn't update until you dig it. Sure, and we're going to sell one stair for one corner piece. Oh, come on, really? Did I maybe not exit mine test? Is that maybe what I did wrong? I just dug it and then placed, I bet that's what I did. Dug it and placed a new one, but never actually exited the game. Okay, what, well. I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh. And now I can't use invalid label elements. What? Oh, because I put. Hmm. Actually, I don't think I had to close that. Okay, well, let's try. Let's see if I can use commas and periods in there. Because those potentially could be game breakers too. Nope. So those both work. Good. Now let's try for something else. Um, that's weird. Oh, I think it's dev mind test, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long has this been going? 32 minutes. Hmm. Let's just try form spec and see what we get here. Okay, we want text to list, I believe. Uh, text list showing item list showing arbitrary text elements. Okay, that's not quite what I want. Image button button vertical label label text area multi line text field. Parameters work as per field. You may need to use mind test form spec escape to avoid problems. I have no idea what that is. I've never used that. Escapes characters such as blah and returns the escaped string. Oh, I don't think I'll be using those, so that doesn't matter. Multi line text field. Now, is this to enter text or to display text? We have a name label and default. So it leads me to believe. This would be entering text. Because a label, I just have the location and then whatever the name is. I don't have a string name to save and input and default input. So I need to see text list. I don't want that. I don't want a drop down. Here's the easiest thing to try. Oh, wait, no, because it doesn't give me any of that. So pretty much I just need to make sure I keep my strings short enough that they'll display. See, it would be nice if I could do multi-line. But it doesn't look like I can. Well. Oh. Yeah, I should uh do that. There we go. Doesn't look like I can do multi-line. I don't know why. I'll do some more poking around, maybe get it working. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna use for texture, so for right now, I'm just gonna stay this. But that will change, because this does not look spaceshipy at all. Um, 
maybe I'll do something like a, a little screen on it with a little like dispenser or something. I don't know, in a little spot to put your token in or something. Oh, but uh, yeah, that's going to wrap this episode up. Kind of just a look at some coding, making form specs, fun stuff like that, crashing mine test because, well, that's loads of fun to do. Anybody who has ever done any coding can feel my pain. What well, you get used to it. You totally everyone's like, ah, whatever. I'm embarrassing myself in front of potentially millions of people on YouTube. Whatever. I'm over it. But honestly, thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel, and I will see you next time.